So welcome to the uh, Pacific Green Party uh, chapter, uh, Bipartisan Cafe, uh, Cascadia chapter, January 23rd. And we have a special guest tonight, Michael's going to introduce uh, Jim Robeson. So I'll let him go ahead and do that while I enjoy my dinner on the side. It is a regular part of the Cascadia chapter of the Pacific Green Party of Oregon that we invite. and political organizer, uh, Mr. Uh, Jim Robison, who uh, is not only the past president of the Eastside Democratic Club, but as well the, the past chair of the Multnomah County Democratic Party. The reason we uh, convened this uh, interview tonight is to put Mr. Mr. Robison on the record in an oral history interview about his uh, opinions on the progressive movement even though uh, his, his lifelong association has been with Democrats, I won't hold it against him. We, we have a, we have a, a meeting that is uh, not simply for Greens, but also anyone interested in the Green movement. And Mr. Uh, Robinson has a long history of uh, that uh, accomplishment to those ends. Uh, uh, Mr. Robinson, uh, I'd like to open our, our work today with a, uh, uh, an evaluation of yours on our, our economic future. Here is the present circumstance. This is a, uh, the, the, the federal uh, bank, uh, the, the Federal Reserve Bank, uh, has a, uh, an information service that is as reliable as any, as any of, the, of the government services uh, that we use in economic measure. And their measure of the ratio of people employed has dropped like a stone since 2008, and it has the bounce of a dead cat. Now, I ask you, Mr. Robinson, uh, looking at this uh, information about or data about our present circumstances, what do you see as the future in in this country for a political economic system? Well, I think the key point right now is we have to. We have to reverse the trend where wealth has been concentrated to fewer and fewer hands. And if we get wealth back out into the community so that people have the ability to go out and buy goods, buy services from their neighbors, work with their neighbors and small businesses, then you get that income coming back around and recycling. The problem we have right now is wealth has been concentrated into so few hands that it doesn't flow. But this problem that we have right now has, is a product of both Democratic and Republican administrations working hand in glove to move the uh, proportion of, of wealth to the 1% to the, uh, and fewer over yeah. the last 30 years. That's been a product of the capitalist system ever since it started. And if you look at the difference between administrations, you see that wealth diverges far faster when Republicans are in power than when Democrats are in power. When Democrats are in power, sometimes you'll get a reversal. And sometimes you can try to bring that back. It's, um, you know, it was Roosevelt basically saved the capitalist system by establishing a, a network of policies that would ensure that wealth gets back out into the community, back out to people. And, you know, if he had not done that, there probably would have been a revolution in this country, would have changed entirely. But uh, what we've seen over the last several decades is more of that wealth gets continues to get concentrated and, and the people who have that wealth, they're the ones that put up 